If you've caught the coronavirus and have since recovered, you might be able to help hospitals treat other patients. CBSN Bay Area's Maria Medina spoke with a doctor about the need for blood donors. Dr. Suchi Pandey joins us now by FaceTime. She is the Chief Medical Officer with Stanford Blood Center. Dr. Pandey, thank you again for joining us. You are collecting plasma donations from people who have recovered from coronavirus. Tell us more about the program and what you hope to achieve. Yes, yeah, so we started our convalescent plasma program this week. And what convalescent plasma is, is a plasma taken from an individual who's recovered from COVID-19 and has antibodies against SARS-CoV-2, which is the virus that causes COVID-19. And the idea is that when you give that plasma to a patient who is sick with COVID-19, that those antibodies will be effective, may be effective against the infection. And so it is a promising new investigational treatment. And there have been some studies uh, done in other countries uh, with this product in, in COVID-19, which does show potential efficacy. And we've also had studies with other respiratory viruses using this type of uh, treatment, convalescent plasma. But it is still investigational for uh, COVID-19, and uh, we do need further studies to determine if it will truly be effective, but we are hopeful and it is promising um, as a new treatment. Everybody wants to hear that word hope, right? Um, mm -hmm. Doctor, can you describe the process? What does, what does it involve? How long does it take? So a convalescent plasma donation is very similar to a standard plasma apheresis donation, which is something that uh, we do commonly at the blood center. So a potential donor, if they've qualified and been cleared and met the requirements, would go to um, Stanford Blood Center or another blood center doing this type of program and uh, first register as a blood donor and then go through our standard donor history questionnaire because convalescent plasma donors do need to meet all the standard blood donor criteria to ensure blood safety for the patient. Uh, then after that is, is cleared, then they would uh, actually have the plasma collected. And this is an automated blood collection, so we use a machine that uh, specifically will draw blood from the donor and then separates out the plasma, which is the part of the blood that we need for this treatment and returns everything else back, so the red cells, platelets, back to the donor. So really, we are just collecting the plasma component from the donor which is what the patient needs. And the amount that we end up collecting is based off of the donor's um, weight. So the whole process takes about one to two hours. Okay, and doctor, what kind of requirements do prospective donors need to meet? I think the key word here is that they are recovering or they have recovered from COVID-19, right? Absolutely, so that is one of the key requirements and the FDA has provided us with the requirements for convalescent plasma donors. So the first is that donors need to be recovered, fully recovered with no symptoms for at least 14 days. And if a, a potential donor is recovered and having no symptoms for 14 to 28 days, the FDA actually requires that we need to do a repeat nasal swab test to ensure that there is no virus in the nasal cavity. And if a donor is beyond 28 days symptom-free, then that repeat negative test is not required. But what we found is at this time, many of the potential donors are in that 14 to 28 day symptom-free period, which means we need to do that repeat test. Um, in addition, uh, the other important factor for qualification is that potential donor has to have had either a positive COVID test that confirmed the diagnosis or having a lab evidence of antibodies. So we know that um, antibody testing is not widely available yet, but it is available in, in some areas. And so if a potential donor has evidence that they have antibodies via one of these tests, that would also qualify them. And so how can prospective donors take part in this if they want to? So if a donor meets these requirements, so essentially the main two is that they have been symptom free for at least 14 days and have had a positive test for COVID-19, either molecular or antibody test, then they can visit our uh, Stanford blood 
Center website, and there's a specific uh, URL, stanfordbloodcenter.org slash COVID-19 plasma. And when you go to that site, there is a, going to be a little an intake form or a short survey that we would like prospective or potential donors to complete, and that will help our staff in terms of determining qualification. And they will hear, those that qualify will hear back from one of our staff to uh, try to schedule a donation. Doctor, you are doing some important work right now for those at home who have recovered from COVID-19. They've tested positive for it. They've now uh, recovered from it. What would you say to those people so that they can possibly take part in this? Why is their participation so important? I think it's a way to potentially give back and help others that are suffering from the disease. And you know, those of you that have recovered and are feeling healthy and well, you can think of this as a potential way to help treat others. So I do recommend that if uh, you meet these qualifications, you've recovered, you've uh, you know had a positive test, you've, you've been symptom free for at least 14 days, to please consider uh, donating or, or being evaluated for donation of convalescent plasma to help others as a potential new treatment for COVID-19. All right, Dr. Suchi Pandey with Stanford Blood Center. Again, thank you so much for joining us. Again, if you've recovered from coronavirus and are interested in donating plasma, that website to fill out a form is stanfordbloodcenter.org slash COVID-19 plasma.